Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 18 of Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I've been very busy here in Mount Battle off camera, sticking around in Area 1 and trying to do it multiple times with different Pokemon. In fact, it's gotten to the point where I've actually removed the purple from the heart meters of many Shadow Pokemon. So what I think I should do is go back to Egget Village and purify them all. I think I have to talk to somebody else in the village as well, which I forgot to do in the previous video. So I might want to do that too. Is it you? Nope. I think it might have been someone else, I'm not sure. We should unlock the next area. But for now, I think I should just move on here. Fidget? Really? That's all you're gonna say? Yeah, I know. That's why I'm not gonna use the Time Flute yet. I mean, there are still other Shadow Pokemon to catch, and some of them do take a very long time to purify. Which is why I'm trying to think about this carefully as to which Pokemon I will use the Flute on. So why don't we go with Quagsar first? In fact, I already have the nicknames figured out for most of these, if not all of them. So let's see how much experience we get with each Shadow Pokemon, because we've gone through like Area 1 a lot, but the uh, levels weren't exactly that high. Okay, so we learned Mudshot, and we only gained one level. So you know what? I'm going to name it after another member of the Mudge Games crew, who I'm very good friends with, LP Grotus. He came up with a couple nicknames for my older Shadow Pokemon, and in fact, I'm going to name the Quagsar after him. Because, you know, why not? Check out his channel, by the way, if you hadn't already. I was going to make it after, like, a frog-type Pokemon, because his avatar is Frog from Chrono Trigger, but there are no frog Pokemon to catch in this game. Wagzar is probably the closest to it. So right now we're going to purify Hitmontop, which is the fighting Pokemon I'm going to use over Hariyama, because that has the ability Intimidate. Ooh, I learned Agility. And didn't gain any levels. And I'm going to name it after another member of the Mudge Games crew, Samurai TX90. So I'm just going to call him Samurai. We'll go with that. In Cole NL112's uh, Let's Play a Pokemon Blue, he named a Dugtrio after Samurai. And his main channel is Samurai TX90, so I'm just going to say Samurai TX. That should be just fine. I'm not going to worry about the exact genders of each Pokemon, because I usually ignore that. Alright, let's go with a Slugma here. As for this one, I don't know if I'm going to be using this Pokemon full-time, because I already got Scorch. But, you know, having an extra Fire-type may not be too bad. This one knows Flamethrower right away. And also has Sunny Day. No levels, that's okay. Okay, I think I'm going to name it after a boss in Chronicles of the Dark Lord Episode 1, Tides of Fate, the uh, Dark Sister of Fire, which is Pyre. I mean, why not, right? It's the most cleverest name I can think of for Slugma and Macargo, if you ask me. Alright, next is going to be Swablu. And I do like Swablu a lot. Not my favorite flying-type Pokémon, but does have a good evolution. I think I've reiterated that enough. Ah, oh, Mirror Move. And no levels. So I'll give it a ribbon. And I'm going to name it after another member of the Much, Much Games crew, a Colette NL180. In LP Grotus' Let's Play of Pokémon Soul Silver, Colette is actually a Pidgey. Once again, she's a flying-type. And this time it's a Swablu. Well, at least mine will have a more epic evolution than say Pidgeotto or Pidgeot. Take that, Grotus! <laughs> Alright, next is gonna be Yanma. So there we go. Getting all these uh, Shadow Pokemon purified is gonna make things a little better in the long run. Trust me on this one. Uh, detect? Well, that, that's a good off uh, defensive move. 
And I already got a name for him already, based on a Mega Man X6 Maverick. I'm gonna call him, like, Yamark, from Commander Yamark. I'm sure I'm not the only one who gave it that nickname, but you know what? I'm gonna do it as well. Because I'm awesome. Not to toot my own horn or anything. Okay, Remoraid, I wouldn't be surprised if it gains a level or two, because it's only at level 20. So I say a nice bit of experience will be gained as a result. Well, the question is, how much? Okay, level 21, 22, beautiful. And I'm gonna name it what looks like a bullet. So I'm gonna give it the name Bullet Hell. Based on, well, pretty much Toho, or Jamestown Colony, or any kind of game that has, like, a lot of bullets you gotta see. Bullet Hell it is. Besides, Remoraid looks like a bullet. That's why I gave it the name. Okay, I think there are other Shadow Pokemon I need to take with me, so I'm gonna go do that. Uh, how does my starting lineup look? Yeah, it looks pretty good. So I think there are, like, one or two trainers you can battle here. One that's, I think it's outside the Pokemon Center? Let's see. Oh, you're gonna show me what you learned? Okay. Uh, Dury. Huh. Chris Dury, that used to play for the New York Rangers. Oh, no, like, wrong guy. Ooh, those are high levels. Swellow and Rhyhorn. Okay. Rotus, I'm counting on you for this. And Samurai, I say you're gonna take good care of that Rhyhorn. Good thing Samurai has Intimidate, which can lower each Pokemon's attack on the other side. Um... I think I'm gonna go with Surf on this one. And Samurai, I'd say Triple Kick on Rhyhorn. Flying moves are super effective against fighting, I have to be careful with that. Good thing I targeted Grotus. Super effective? Only hit one time! Well, good thing Surf also does damage to the uh, Rhyhorn. Unfortunate side about Surf is it also targets my own partner, I think. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, that's good. Ooh, Sunflora, that's level 40. Okay, I don't think Grotus would be good for this, because he's water and ground, therefore extra weak to grass. I think Colette can get some licks in. And Samurai, you're gonna have to, like... Hmm, what should you use for this? Uh, fighting is not very effective against uh, flying or grass. We'll try a rapid spin on Swellow. I really hate to let those new guys lose. That would really suck. Ouch, that wing attack hurts. Maybe rapid spin will help. Not really, it only did that little damage. Oh, stun sport! <sighs> Thank god I missed. Okay, Colette, you're gonna have to use Fly on the Sunflora. We'll try a Triple Kick on Sunflora? Or better yet, hmm... Focus Energy? I think we're gonna go with Focus Energy. To increase my crit rate. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That could've been much worse. That Swallow is super fast, that's the problem. Ah, it's using growth. That means its special attack goes up. Okay, I say now we probably go for a triple kick. I might luck out on this one. Oh, thank God it missed. Ah, that's weak! Even if I get like three hits in. Ooh, that was actually pretty good. That Sunflora reminds me, maybe I should go back to playing some Plants vs. Zombies someday. I haven't touched that in a long time. It's a very good game, and very addicting. 
Okay, now all that's left is Swallow. Uh, let's try Sing. <laughs> that's very fitting, Colette, because she loves to sing. Uh, we'll go with another triple kick. Actually, maybe I should swap out Samurai for this. And, uh, probably bring back Rotus. You know, fighting is not going to be good against a Swallow. But a Surf probably can. Okay, good, it worked. Now we put it to sleep. Nighty night, Swallow. <laughs> Alright, so... Safeguard, I believe, protects us from, like, getting status ailments for a period of time. So I guess I'll have to go for another fly. Ooh, Amnesia is also very nice. Well, let me try a Surf by itself. I don't think it's gonna do too much. If it doesn't, then I'll just use Amnesia. Though I think that only increases special defense. Yeah, I think it probably does. Alright, still asleep. I know, is that actually the unsung hero? I don't know what level Colette evolves into Altaria. I think it's 35? I'm not sure. Either way, we're in pretty good shape to win this battle. And it's still asleep. Alright, level 34. And I hope you can evolve soon. Nope, you haven't studied enough, and you suck. At the Finax Stadium? Well, I'll check that out later. There's still also the pre-gym. But I'm not gonna touch that yet. In the meantime, why don't I just keep looking around here? Oh yeah, I forgot, I also have some other Shadow Pokémon to purify. But what ones exactly? I'm trying to remember. I think it was a Metatite is definitely one of them. I definitely put a lot of work into trying to uh, get the Entei purified, but it takes a long, long, long time! Pseudowoodo is getting there. Here, I'll show the summary. This is my progress so far with Pseudo Wudo. Well, I got Shadow Rush and Block. Well, that's not really that special, because I don't really care if my target escapes. It barely does at all. Noctowl I put no work into. Fear of Furret and Dunsparce I put no work towards. So there's still the Metatite. And I think I should just put in the Pokemon that I plan to use. I think LP Grotus is going to be a permanent fixture for the time being, because, I mean, he's been good to me. He's part ground, thus giving it an immunity to electric types. Maybe putting Grotus and Water Wing together may not be such a bad idea. Then again, it won't even matter, because Surf doesn't affect my own party members. If it did, I would put Water Wing right next to it so I can recover HP every time I get hit by Surf. So I don't think that'll be necessary. Oh, well, there's always only one. That's Metatite. I've come up with a good nickname for him, or her. Again, I don't pay attention to genders when I name my Pokémon. Ooh, Detect. And you got a Ribbon, so I'm gonna name you after a pretty good Mortal Kombat character. I'm gonna name you after Liu Kang. Because you're a fighter, and you do channel some energy in the form of, like, psychic energy, maybe to create fireballs. So that's close enough. Even though you're not dressed like Gandhi. A Gandhi smurf. But in any case, let's get my team ready to go. I don't know if I should actually take a Shadow Pokemon with me, like Pseudo Wudo, because just progressing the game naturally can provide some good training for it. We'll see. But I'm definitely going to bring in a good team. So let's do that right now. No, I don't want to name the box. Definitely keeping you, and you. I don't know if I want to keep Colette. I'm definitely not keeping Yamark. Or Liu Kang. Well, definitely keeping Abel. So I should bring in Kane. And probably... Zeo Sheep 2? I mean, that's a tall stretch here. 
Uh, wait, I do want to continue. Thought this through, and I don't think I want to keep Colette with me. For now, at least. Depending on what I run against, I'm gonna actually switch types. So I think this is gonna be a good team. Is it ideal? No, but then again, what Let's Play is supposed to use the best Pokémon all the time? You gotta adapt a little! Hmm, do I talk to you? Oh, so you've been to Mount Battle! Oh, you're gonna reminisce about your younger days? I don't care. So, I guess, hmm, maybe it's this old guy. Hmm, nah, you shouldn't. You'd fail, miserably. Senalor? Hmm, yeah, I already know about that. No. I'm not Trico! Yeah, they definitely use strange Pokemon, and I already got most of them restored. I do believe there's another area I'm supposed to go to, but I have to talk to a certain person at the village? Oh, somebody built what looks like a laboratory on the desert. That's who I need to talk to. So you know what? Why don't we go check that place out? Wouldn't hurt. Besides, it might be very important to our quest. So you know what? I'm not going to bring a Shadow Pokemon with me. I usually do the training off-camera to make it a bit easier. But once again, if there's actually a Pokemon computer, like over in a dungeon, I can just take advantage of that. Ah, the Mystery Lab. That's where I need to go. Let's see what that place is all about. You got mail! Duking? We just nabbed a pair of goons we think take orders from Myra B. They may be worth squeezing for some intelligence. The police have them in jail, so come to Pyrite in a hurry. Pyrite, eh? Hmm. Will I be able to get very far in this place? Let's find out. Oh, I think there's an item here. Let me try to snag it. No pun intended. Ah, revive. Oh, well, okay. Well, I guess I'm done here. I'll come back to it later. So let's go to Pyrite Town again and go see those thugs in jail. I wonder if Buddy's gonna run smack into me and turn around a few times. Hmm. Those suspects be arrested haven't spilled any beans. Not a thing. I reckon they're afraid of payback from their organization. Oh wait, Bonga, was it? Your PDA number, please. They want it now? I've had this earlier. Well, I'll go talk to them myself. Listen, listen! Chief Sherls and I, we caught two more suspects! They came back to that creaky old building, and we nabbed them on the spot. Hey, 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 hey! Yeah, I checked out the lab. I didn't get very far. You don't have a clue? They said there would be some new prisoners, so they split me and Folly up. But you know, the guys in the next cell, those voices sound familiar. Another cell? Let me check that out then. Ah! It's you! Yeah, get away from me! The door is locked while well, I still got the jail key, so I'm not going away anytime soon. Elevator going down. I'm surprised the other one is not complaining that I'm taking a key. Oh well, I guess that, that's what they get for being peons or absolutely dumb. Alright, I'm going to stop the video here and then the next part, I'm going to use this key on the elevator on that building we saw much earlier in the Let's Play. Goodbye everyone.